Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf and I'm here with Jerry Castle. How hey, are you? Awesome, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. You had a fun week this week. Uh, it's been busy. It's been yeah. very fun. You're celebrating the release of your new album, Brand New Hello. Yeah, I, I am. It makes you think about different things during that time frame. Yeah. You know, you're, you're thinking uh, instead of, you're going through the motions of uh, the activities that you have through the day while uh, not worrying about too much of the past, just trying to keep right. up. Right. Now, did you have fun having that party? It was right around NAM show too, right? Was it packed and busy and fun? Yeah, it was packed. It, I, I really wasn't, I didn't know until the bass player had just participated in a lot of the NAM show oh, things okay. and he came and he had brought some guests that he had told me about, you know, the NAM was involved. So uh, I didn't really know until then. I'm on East Na live in East Nashville and we can be in a little bit of a bubble nice. sometime. <laughs> yes, yes. Especially during, like, I, I know the locals during CMA Fest, they want to just kind of stay in their homes and not venture out because it does get pretty crowded down here. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, this is the first time I have been downtown and I couldn't even tell you. I think I had some friends visit maybe five years ago oh. from out of town. So, yeah, it's a new thing for me, too. That's awesome. I love <laughs> it. I love it. So so what, what inspired this project? I know you did a pledge campaign to get this album out. So what inspired this album for you? Well, you know, I did. The beginning of the album happened toward the tail end of the Not So Soft Landing, mm -hmm. which you guys were so kind as to cover and uh, say some nice things about. Um, but um, we were winding down that tour, it was 2016, October of 2016, and you know, in, inevitably with, with, as an independent artist, if you're remaining independent, then it's never what you want it to be toward the end of the campaign. So um, toward the end of that, I was kind of, I had just come back from Northern California actually and, and uh, might have had a wee bit of the blues, if you will, mm -hmm. and uh, I laid on the couch for a couple of weeks and ate a lot of things that I shouldn't eat. And then uh, um, and was just trying to figure it out. And really, I mean, you know, no, we're, we're at a point now that being political at all is is a sensitive <laughs> subject regardless yeah, of which side of the aisle you're on it but is. you know the the election and the and the uh, divide that I felt among my friends mm -hmm. and peer group and community certainly had uh, a whole lot to do with inspiring writing this record well, that's, that's fantastic. I love that you can be honest and open and real with me, by the way, because you always have. And, and I love that about you. And you're one of the ones that I'm always watching on social media. And I love when you're, you know, you're communicating with fans and you're getting your stuff out there and you're always so happy and you comment on other people's, you know, posts and which I love. I love yeah. watching you do that. So are fans important to stay connected to, in your opinion? Of course, personally? they're the most important. Without them, you're not doing it. Um, you know, I certainly try to approach my music from a being being an artist point of view and and always trying to do new things. But any artist that says that they're only focused on their art alone without without the feedback of mm -hmm. or support from someone else, then it's just it's not possible. I mean, it, it, it's a big circle. Yeah. And, and without the fans, it's, it's just not possible. Um, yeah. That's all I got to say about <laughs> no, that. that's great. That's great. Now I've been I've been thinking about this all day, and you know I always come across an artist who's really good at doing something else that nobody would know about. So is there anything that you have that you're really good at that somebody would be surprised to know that you you do or that you're good at? Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. We we get to adjust our chair for this answer. I can take a beer can. I can hold it between my teeth and I can make it beat back and forth at a rapid pulse. Oh, wow. Kind of like I can make my, that's, that's the most important thing I can do. Wow. <laughs> but besides that, I can, uh, uh, besides that, I'm working with the band called Folk Soul Revival mm -hmm. that I'm managing as well. That's originally from the area that I'm from in the Appalachian Mountains of Virginia. And several of those guys, I went to college with them. And I mean, when you hear it, you're going to see why as an artist I would be willing to divide my time it's, 
it's right. just amazing stuff and I'm really just as excited about that as anything else right now see that's great and I'm glad I asked the question and now I want to see you do that on video <laughs> I, I, think I tried to show somebody for the first time in like seven years the other night and um, or maybe even more maybe 17 years but and yeah I couldn't quite because the key is to get relaxed right you gotta relax and I just couldn't get relaxed and I was like hey what's this and they're like oh, you're fighting right. a beer can right oh my god that would be really funny to see though I'm sure everybody watching is gonna want to see it too so next time you feel inspired Bring the to beer do can. that oh, we'll or maybe I can just send you a, yeah. a uh, a video from my iPhone. See, so there you go. There something you go. to work toward. <laughs> what else do you have coming up? Are you going to do a radio tour or anything with your new music? Yeah, uh, we go to Birmingham next week, or yeah, the, the yeah next week, and um, you know, I have historically had an issue with post-release of that. I. I cram everything into the first four months. I burn myself out, and oh, yes. and then you know you really can't promote as an independent artist. You can't adequately promote your record in four months. So, right. Um, right. Um, my goal is to the release date was June twenty second, mm -hmm. two thousand eighteen. June twenty second of two thousand nineteen. I'm hopeful that I'm continuing to do it. Okay, very sell cool. Out, so yeah, I love that you. I'm you trying to be the tortoise. See, and I love that you set that goal for yourself, but that you gave yourself a timeline. I have, I have such a history of. I am such a song. You know, my focus is, my focus is, my focus is so much so on writing and creating a lot of times yeah. that by the time an album actually comes out. I'm done with it. Like, I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play it anymore. Right. Um, and so, you know, but that, that's just not, that's just not a proper way to release a record. And so, uh, right. yeah, that's why. Well, and, and I love by doing a pledge campaign, you got the fans involved. I did. Mm -hmm. I did. And, and that was very helpful. And it, you know, really helps you to know uh, what's working and what is not working. Right. Did you have any comments from fans that you were able to really take to heart and put to use? You know, I wouldn't say it's so much the comments, but um, interaction mm -hmm. or lack thereof okay. is, is always telling because I think people in general want to like your music, particularly right. your fans. They want to like it, so if they're not liking it, they're not interacting. It's a pretty good sign that things yeah. aren't exactly, exactly where they need to be. Exactly. Well, that's like the whole the whole thing that our parents used to teach us, right? If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. And you know, a lot of I live people, by that. A, a lot of people, you know, unfortunately, don't live by that, and they're trolls, and they go on to they go onto your social media, and they'll just say some of the meanest comments and it's like what why why did you have to stop here and why did you have to say that yeah i tried just not to uh give that any attention i mean <laughs> i would be lying if i said that you're not uh, the knee-jerk re reaction to anything negative that you don't notice it but reacting to it's yeah. only going to make it worse so i try Absolutely. to stay away from it as much as possible well, i think that's a good idea i try to but yeah i i get i get <laughs> I'm on a tilt. Job. I get fired up, but I do. I do keep from actually typing anything, though. Instead, I just go in my room yeah. and I have my own little pity party. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm the same with emails. I am a. I am a drafter. Like I'll type a draft. Can you set this and then uh -huh. I put it away. Mm -hmm. And then I look at it the next day and go, Oh my God, that's ridiculous. But has it ever inspired a song? Hmm. In particular, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't think so. All right. I don't think so. We'll see next. But maybe time. roundabout it All has. Right. Well, maybe. Maybe in another way. Maybe the vibe that that made me feel made yeah. me wake up the next day feeling sorry for myself, if you will, see. and maybe it created a sad song and I just didn't even know it. There you go. Or maybe you'll remember that moment and you'll go back and you'll just be like, you know what? I'm going to write that song now. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that, draft is, that draft is coming to life. <laughs> That's the train, by the way. The little engine thought it could. Yes. Okay. I did pick up on that one. <laughs> I leave every other joke so, on the floor. So sharp. No. <laughs> See? I did it again. Missy has moments, you guys. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> 
So, so where is the day as long? Where can fans find you for more music and great personality? <laughs> um, JerryCastle.com. That's J E R R Y C A S T L E. Sandcastle is how I explained it to a guy at the Apple Store, and he said, "Or like a stone castle." And I said, "Well, yes, whatever oh, kind okay. of castle you want." JerryCastle.com um, is the best place to keep up with me and. All of the social media stuff as well, of course. Uh, Jerry Castle Music on Facebook. Jerry Castle Music on Instagram. Dun, dun, dun. And your music can be found everywhere because I was listening to you on Spotify and yeah, it's on iTunes. There. iTunes. You guys, if you have what? iTunes, you love iTunes, you got to get his brand new album. Brand new Hello. It's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's and awesome. Is there anything else you want to say to fans before we go? No, I appreciate you. Uh, I would not come downtown for anyone else except you, Missy. Thank you. I feel special. And I'm going to let you guys all go now so I can give this man a hug. Until next time, we'll see you soon.